Good morning. This is the Great Basin Prescribed Fire Briefing for Monday, December 2nd. Looking at our uh, fire activity, a lot of the projects seem to have expired, just have a few lingering ones, mostly pile burns ongoing and on Forest Service land right now. Other agencies still doing some burns and still a few very small scale quarter acre type fires where you see the red circles down south. Precipitation over the past week on the left are the total amounts. On the right, the percent of normal. So uh, it was about six, seven days ago that we did have a storm system over the southern uh, portion of the Great Basin with above normal precipitation, but definitely much drier, at least a brief dry spell areas further north. 100-hour fuel still quite moist in the north, uh, starting to... Uh, uh, moisten up in a lot of areas actually still in the far south in Nevada on the drier side ERC point map reflects uh, the same issues 72 hour snowfall nothing at all uh, snow cover on the map a lot of this was from the uh, wetter conditions we had and snowier conditions through much of November and looking at the satellite the imagery, you know big arc of high snow. pressure overhead, we clear skies, most of the storminess also. well out uh -huh. into the Pacific. And there's the upper level map for today with the high pressure building in, mostly clear skies, some patchy clouds where you see the green here. Air quality starting to decrease. We don't see areas in white here anymore, mostly in the red and the uh, purple. And uh, winds overall to surface fairly light. We do see um, fairly dry humidities down south into the mid to upper teens, otherwise more of the seasonable 35, 45, 50 percent uh, for minimum humidity as we uh, head further north. Uh, transport winds on the left, you can see the mixing heights quite poor, mostly in that purple shade, just a, just a few hundred feet above ground level, if that. So again, the dispersion tends to go downhill when you're this bigger edge of high pressure. We have a similar story on Tuesday. Again, fairly poor overall dispersion in the red and purple shades. Uh, you can see the humidity is very similar. Wind feel also very similar. A bit breezier northerly or northeasterly winds across uh, southern Nevada, parts of the Arizona Strip, and far southwest Utah, just uh, down near the St. George area. See the same issues on the transport flow and the mixing heights. Uh, high pressure continues to build us, just a broken record, uh, steering most of the storm systems up into the north and blocking the west coast from any significant storms. Uh, so a lot of stagnation through here with light winds, humidity, um, other than the far south, quite uh, dry. Similar story on the uh, surface winds, mixing heights. Three-day precipitation, nothing. Storm systems being steered well up north into British Columbia and also stormier further on the east coast of the United States. So going to Thursday, high pressure uh, still overhead. Uh, there are some waves of low pressure trough starting to break it down a little bit. Uh, we'll see that a little bit more enforced on Friday. And then Saturday, there'll be a storm system finally pushing through into the Pacific Northwest, into much of Idaho and northern Nevada initially on Saturday. Um, and then as we get into Sunday, uh, that storm system glances across northern Utah, but pushes more into Idaho and uh, Wyoming. But finally, with the deeper trough and uh, strong north-northwest uh, winds, we'll have much colder air coming in, and that will finally create better dispersion overall. I see the areas in white here. That uh, is excellent overall ventilation. We haven't seen that all week long. So Sunday will be the first day where the air quality really improves, but it'll come with strong winds. Precipitation, this will be uh, Friday to Sunday, um, just up north, I should say through Saturday night. And then uh, Saturday night through Monday night, uh, you can see some light amounts here, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch. So basically one to three inches of snow where you see the different shades of green. Uh, seven day precip totals would be basically that last uh, six, seven day period. And looking further down the road, the 8 to 14 day outlook really shows just uh, above normal temperatures and uh, drier than normal we weather signals we get into mid-December. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.